Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB AI Tester. We are getting started with the final chapter of this syllabus which is chapter 11 talking about using AI for testing itself. Now this chapter will guide you through how AI could be used when trying to test a system. Of course there are different uses of AI within testing itself and so far we have been talking how to work with AI but now we will be getting into how exactly AI can be used for testing itself. Now in this particular chapter, of course, we will be having a lot of other introductory things like 11.1 .1, AI technologies for testing, 11.2 using AI to analyze reported defects, 11.3 using AI for test case generation, using AI for optimization of regression test suites, 11.5 using AI for defect predictions, and 11.6 using AI for testing user interfaces. That means we are somewhere in mid of something where the team is busy looking forward to understand that how AI could be helpful in the activities of your day-to-day -day testing activities, right? Because there are so many things which can be really done. And today, I think many things are happening with respect to AI. The research is ongoing and we may look forward to have more value being added from here. So today in this particular tutorial, we're getting started with 11.1 .1 AI technologies for testing and 11.2 using AI to analyze reported effects. To get started, the very first topic we're talking about the AI technologies for testing that what exactly do we have for us in order to talk about AI to be used as a part of the testing activities. Now several AI technologies are listed in the beginning of the chapter itself like chapter 1 and section 1.4 so all of which can be used to support some specific aspect of software testing. According to Harman, the software engineering community uses three broad, broad areas of AI technology which is fuzzy logic and probabilistic methods, classification learning and prediction, computation search and optimization techniques. We have already discussed this in detail in chapter 1 if in case you want more information quickly visit 1.4 and get to the deep dive of this. Talking about fuzzy logic and probabilistic methods, these involves the use of AI techniques to handle the real world problems which are themselves probabilistic. If, for example, AI can be used to analyze and predict possible system failures using Bayesian techniques. These may estimate the likelihood of components or functions failing or reflect the potentially random nature of human interactions with the system. So point being made here is these are some of the techniques which helps you to predict the frequency of failures or an anticipated failure of a system. This could be based on the past data of failures or anticipating which kind of part is getting weared out or even if you're talking about like the one which is getting weaker or probably the signal strength is going down can be very well used as input parameters to determine what might be coming up as a failure. Similarly, when you talk about the classification, learning and prediction, this can be used for various use cases such as predicting cost as part of project planning or of predicting defects. As embodied by ML, the area is used for many software testing tasks including defect management, defect prediction and user interface testing. So we'll be talking about these topics in this chapter itself down the line. but. Classification, learning and predictions are the technologies which would be used to determine the prediction of cost and various planning factors. Now, when we talk about the cost, of course, there are matrices based, so it must not be challenging for AI system to come up with a calculation and tell you how much cost would be required in order to implement a project. At the same time, when we talk about the project planning, it could have a pool of information that based on these kind of, you know, Characteristics of a product, these are the activities what we need to perform. So AI must find it very easy to determine that what is the plan depending on the product and project characteristics. At the same time, predicting defects could be based on the past data or defect taxonomy, which certainly adds a lot of value, right? So AI could be very well useful here too. Talking about computational search and optimization techniques, I think this, we already have a lot of research happening and a lot of other products at low level using AI for this. These can be used to solve optimization problems using a computational search of potentially large and complex search spaces. Examples include generating test cases, 
identifying the smallest number of test cases that achieves a given coverage criterion and optimizing regression test cases. So all put together is basically we are just not limited to you know talking about doing this manually. The approach what we use manually like driving the minimum number of test cases using a test technique can be prefeeded in an AI based system. So all you need to provide is hey if I want to know what are the minimum number of test cases required for this, you feed in with the ranges and the AI system will revert you with the classification and the number of classes required to be tested. In fact, it can do the pairwise comparison and give you the required data set combinations what you need to test. So there are several other things which AI system would be able to do using the computational algorithm. So all the above the categorization is necessarily broad right now as there is considerable overlap between the testing task that can be implemented by AI and the different AI technologies. It is also just one categorization and other could be created that may be equally valid. So right now we just have some limited areas under the research. So we just have few of them listed here. Of course, down the line, you may expect more coming up of, you know, for the help of testing team. Parallelly talking about the other segment that how AI can be used to analyze reported defects, right? We do know that we spend a lot of time analyzing a reported defects and getting into the root cause of it. Then based on that, we determine what is the fix for that. So here we are just talking about analyzing a reported defect and getting into the root cause of it, which I think to a certain extent, all the sports bikes and cars are using ECUs and MCUs which is electronic control unit. And you just have to connect the scanner and the signals will be sent to all the parts and you will easily get to know where the circuit is broken. Now, exactly the same fashion, this, this can be done for analyzing reported effects for the application too. Now, reported effects are usually categorized, prioritized, and any duplicates are identified. The activity is often referred to as defect triage or analysis and is intended to optimize the elapsed time spent in defect resolution, which is in simple terms, the turnaround time between the defect reporting and defect resolution. The AI can be used to support this activity in various ways, such as number one, categorization, classifying a defect into the right and appropriate category. This NLP can be used to analyze text within defect reports and extract topics such as areas of effect affected functionality that can then be provided alongside other metadata to clustering algorithms such as k-nearest neighbors or support vector machines. These algorithms can identify suitable defect categories and highlight similar or duplicate defects. AI-based AI categorization is particularly useful for automated defect reporting system which is, for example, Microsoft Windows and for Firefox and on other projects with many software engineers. Like, I think one of the common examples they've already given you, and I would like to echo that once again, when we talk about crashing on a Windows Microsoft, right, Microsoft Windows, you certainly see a blue screen and then say that, hey, the Windows is collecting certain data to analyze what went wrong, and you will be rebooting in a moment. So that blue screen, is basically for Microsoft to collect the runtime data that what exactly went wrong and what should I be doing in that case. So they consist automatically collect this information and keep the configuration details about the log details about what exactly happened and how this could be improved. Similarly, criticality can be one of the things which can be done with help of AI. ML models trained on the features of the most critical defects can be used to identify those defects most likely to cause those system failures that account for large, large percentage of reported effects. So they can easily understand that, hey, these are the common and those set of defects which generally cause heavy failures or failures for the system. So they can easily categorize those items under the critical category so that the team can take necessary appropriate actions regarding the same. Assignment, of course, ML models can suggest which developers are the best suited to fix particular defects based on the defect content and previous developer assignment, which is more of like recommendations. Today, things like media players are also, or online listening portals of songs are also recommending based on your interest. For example, if you skip a song, they know that, hey, you're not interested in this kind of singer, probably this kind of song or this kind of genre. But if you continue listening or repeat a song 10 times, they know that, hey, you are kind of interested in pop 
and from the singer and this kind of music is what you love so they always try to play create a back to back playlist according to your interest so when the media players can do this of course the testing can also certainly do this or ai system can be used for assignments by determining based on the past record that what developers have worked on what kind of modules and easily allocate a developer to this assignment so i think we just covered two topics from this chapter which is very very specific and to the point to talk about how ai can be used in testing and we'll continue talking about this in other few tutorials from this chapter so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything else feel free to comment below i'm always there to address your queries and answer them well till then keep learning keep exploring keep understanding the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning